to we ask you though, with your content, hip-hop. the evolution of it. And I'm going to maybe ask you, I'm going to give you a scenario and let me know if I'm right. Okay. As a gamer, right? Okay. You're on the games, the online games. There's a whole bunch of racist ass rhetoric. Yeah. Okay. You're making content and you're also gaming. Mm-hmm. Does the racist ass rhetoric that you're seeing with all of these people from all over the world mm-hmm. a- encourage you to start making the content that you're making now where you're on Omegle and all that and you're like calling and you know calling out racist gamers and stuff too you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. was it a product of that of like just seeing so much of that i think like growing up obviously you hear people okay so like i grew up in a time where like pretty sure most people watching there was this game called modern warfare 2 mm. <laughs> i don't know if you're familiar with this no, game. i've heard of the game <laughs> so modern warfare 2 is like you would hear some of the most disgusting, <laughs> vile, racist, homophobic, sexist. Like, some of the worst things you've ever heard of, you would hear. From a 14-year-old. From like, yeah. <laughs> from a 7-year-old. Forget about 14. <laughs> That's crazy. So, when I was growing up, these were the type of games that I was playing. Mm. And back then, it was like, nowadays, you have options, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can be in a call, a Discord call with your homies. You don't have to listen to game. But back then, you had to hear the game chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if somebody had their mic in and they were talking, right, that came out through your TV, right? Like, it's not like how you have, like, your headphones (laughs) and, like, no, back then, it was like, nah, bro. Like, nah, be like, fam. This came through your TV. Like, if he's saying, like, racial slurs, everybody's going to hear that. And most of us are playing in the middle of our living room. So then you have to explain it to your mom. Thank God I have African parents. They don't get it. They don't know English that well. You know what I mean? So they don't fully, like, understand, right, what's going on. But for other people, that's, that's not the case. So, you know, growing up, you know, I was playing these games like GTA and mm. I was playing these games like Modern Warfare 2. And I would just hear these things. So I guess it it gave me like a thick skin. Yeah, yeah. So like now, as far as I'm concerned, like some of these guys that try to like, you know, be racist or whatever. And I go on Omegle or whatever and I encounter some of these guys. Yeah. And you you do, you debate with them. You best them like crazy. Nah, because there's no point wasting calories debating these guys. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Why are you waste like, don't do that. You know what I mean? Just make a, make them look like a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. Right? So... Now, like, I've heard some of, it gave me a thick skin to where, like, if I encounter somebody just anywhere, say it's like a white guy goes, like, ah, you fucking, and he calls me the hard R. Mm. That shit doesn't bother, like, if anything, I just laugh, right? It's like, and he calls me a hard R, I was like, okay, yeah, he calls me a hard R, and it's just like, okay, like, couldn't you have said that a little bit more aggressively? Like, don't you yeah, think your, yeah, yeah. Think your grandfather would appreciate you saying that so, like, monotone? Let's put a little bit more bass. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put up the base a little bit? And then he tries again. Oh, well, ah, you're man. almost there. You know what I mean? So now I got to the point where like that shit doesn't bother me. I feel like a lot of people when they, especially black people, when they hear certain words, triggers them. Yeah. All of a sudden they want to fight and stuff like that. For me, it's like, yeah, these words are frustrating to hear. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I grew up in a time where it was everything was so f- that it doesn't even bother me. I'll like Somebody says that shit to me, I laugh. Yeah. And then I found a way to record it and kind of just the normal things that I would do, I find a way to go on a platform where I can record that. Mm-hmm. Like completely like roast the hell out of you or expose the hell out of you and then upload it to the internet for everybody to laugh at. Yeah, yeah. You know? Completely legal. Um, and as, as far as I'm concerned, it's moral and just in my eyes. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah, I feel like it gave it gave me like going back to your question, it gave me like hearing a lot of crazy shit growing up, gave me the thick skin to be able to create the content that I'm making now. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if I didn't experience those insane people back then, like that you would hear on Game Channel, I'm pretty sure a lot of people watching have experienced this as well. Mm -hmm. If I didn't experience that, I don't feel like I could have the thick skin to do what I'm doing now. You know, I can have some kind of, you know, teenage mental breakdown and I'd crash out 
<laughs> Yo, you know how much money I got? Who are you calling? The, who you're, you calling that? You're looking for them. It's not like they're finding you and just doing all the kind of racist shit to you. No, to you're be fair, looking like, for them. To be fair, like I, I create different kind of content. It's not always like no, no. Has to be like when I'm in my recording sessions, like there's different videos that we can make from different stuff. Yeah, yeah. But you just so happen to find a lot of those like racist people. Yeah. On on the internet because the internet is very anonymous. Yeah. Or so they think. Right. Um, and so, you know, you encounter a lot of these people that just say a lot of crazy things. And I guess, you know, you just you can just like some of them are willing to talk to you. Some of them are not willing to talk to you. But, you know, um, I've just I've kind of found this way of just like kind of putting them on, I guess, blast, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But not not. But I don't do like when you say I go out looking for them, like. I don't really go out looking for them. Like I, I really want to make this clear. Like mm. there's a lot of them on there. They're just, they're just, it's, it's, you they're just a rock lurk. and hit one. Yeah, it's like they're just, they just lurk. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. when they see like the setup and everything, and they know you're streaming or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, let me see. Like they can tell you're streaming or recording. They're gonna try to say something that's gonna, you know, that's so crazy, be controversial, so that they it should can, be the opposite. Like they should see you're streaming and recording, and let me not say something that. With my face, that mean make make me lose make me lose my job or something. Ah, well, we're in the crash out era now. Yeah, you know what I mean? so like a lot of people, they just want to say like, and to be fair, there's a lot of people that come up to me and say, "Yo, Captain, I'm a big fan of your videos." When I go on, right? Mm. There's dozens of people. Yeah, like, every time I go on, it got to the point where it's like, shit, can I even record on here anymore? Because like, there's so much people like, "Yo, I love your videos, bro. Please put me in the video." Yeah, and I'm just like, okay, you like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. occasionally you'll find like one or two of those, you know, people, and then you just. And 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 the process to like doing that is very simple. Like, bro, I'm re- like, it's just you relax. Like, I I I smoke hell. Like, I'm high. Mm. When I'm doing this shit, I can't do this shit when I'm sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I gotta dumb myself down to their level. Because mm. like, if I'm sober doing it, I'm gonna rationally try to process the things that they're saying. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some guy is trying to convince me like, yo, the cerebral cortex in minorities, this part of the brain is significantly less. <sighs> and so like, I didn't want to argue with him. Mm. That's why That's why a lot of minorities, specifically black people, they lash out and they get angry more often than us. That's what he's trying to claim. Yeah. So I don't want to sit there and argue with him and be like, that's not true, blah, blah. Like if I was, if I was sober, I would have to do that. That's how my brain would think. But when I'm high, it's like, okay, let me make this guy look dumb. How am I going to make this guy look dumb? Let me piss him the hell off so that he starts yelling and screaming at me. And then I'm going to be like, yeah, how's that for the cerebral cortex, buddy? <laughs> he starts yelling. It just shrunk. <laughs> yeah. how, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's kind of my approach. And then they and then they, they can't say nothing. That's Then that then we get, we get what's called the deer in headlights where you're just like staring at you. Looking yeah. At you. And that's like, that's where I'm in my prime time. Super That's where I'm like, owned. prime time, game seven, Michael Jordan. <laughs> when I see those, Friday, it's a look. It's the glaze. It's the glaze in their <laughs> eyes. It's the look. They just start looking at you. They can't say anything, even when they have shades on. Yeah, yeah. I can tell, bro. You can tell they're blinking behind the shades. I can just smell it. <laughs> and they got nothing to say. And then that's when I go on the attack and I don't let them say a goddamn thing. I just keep coming at them. Like, good, you know what I mean? Good, good. And then it just... You know, we just, that's kind of how, that's my approach. That's kind of how we go about doing it. You know? No, nah, man, I love to see it, bro. For sure, for sure. Let me, let me ask you something about some of the behind the scenes because. Yeah. F- just from some of the more recent titles or like some of the titles that we were just talking about, like mm-hmm. the racist stuff and all that. Right. And even with me, like with YouTube, I've been very uh, particular. Mm-hmm. Even when I say that word, sometimes I say gracist. Yeah. Because I know YouTube could be very particular Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah 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 so i see you use different things like you put like a little like inflection thing on on some of the c's yeah Yeah, yeah, the accents on the c's and on the a's is that because of youtube's um um whatchamacall terms and conditions stuff like because i know the guidelines can be very strict when it comes to certain stuff you want to see green dollar signs yeah yeah um so when it comes to, like, YouTube has changed a lot yes. in the past couple of years. So, like, eight years ago, you could get away with saying certain things that you can't get away with saying now. Oh, hell yeah. Right? So, 
the idea of a YouTuber, and I think you know this, when you're doing YouTube is you don't want to get your content demonetized. Mm -hmm. You want a green dollar sign instead of a yellow one. And that's not just for money, by the way. Yeah. That's not just for money. Like a lot of people go, oh, you just want to make money. Okay, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to make money on the internet, right? I'm not going to lie. But it's also like an algorithmic thing, right? If you get a yellow icon on your video, there is no incentive for YouTube to to push that Mm -hmm. because it's not generating them revenue. You got to always think about what's making them money because whatever's making the platform money is going to be making me money. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, and it all comes down to like advertisers. This video that you're going to upload, there's going to be advertisers that are going to bid to pay to get ads at the beginning of this video Mm -hmm. and during the video. Yes. And then that's what's called a CPM. Mm -hmm. That governs your CPM. Yeah. How Click, much clicks money? Clicks per mile. Clicks, yeah. Cost per mile. How much money are advertisers willing to pay to put ads on your video per thousand views? Yeah. Some people it's two dollars. Some people it's two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Right. So the thing with it is you have to kind of find a, a a way in this in this kind of crazy society that we're in where anybody could get canceled at any given time. Mm-hmm. You have to find a way to sort of mask it in a certain way. The The reason why I put the little accents and I s- censor it out in a certain way is because I don't want it, the automated system to like kind of flag it. Mm-hmm. Every video that I make, like I have to get it approved. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you get to a certain level on YouTube, like I'm pretty sure you understand this, but like maybe you do or maybe you don't, but... I have to get everything approved. Like it takes several days. Yeah. After the video is done, it's going to take several days to get that video approved. I have to go to my rep, get them to look at it, make sure they approve it. Wow. They send it to like YouTube, they approve. So like there's a, you have to like really sort of, it takes a while, right? So I, I, I make the content in such a way and I, I do it in such a way to, one, to avoid those systems. Mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, even though like the content is very, it is what it is. Like it's, 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 it's not really the most PG content. You're right. It's still censored and it's still, it's still censored and it still performs in a way as if like, it's not hate. I feel like if you make it in a way where it's like hateful, yeah, YouTube's not going to like it. If you do it in a way where it's like, you're trying to comedically, and this is what we say all the time, we, we comedically condemn all of this shit that we see. Yeah. You know, when I'm do when I'm interacting with these people, I'm not being like, yeah, bro, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even if I do say that, it's like doing it in a comedic way where it's like, you just look like a dumbass, you know? And then I circle back and then I'd be like, yo, by the way, you're a dumbass. Like everything you're saying is stupid. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And we do it in an artistic, comedic way. So YouTube, they understand, I feel like YouTube, they get it because we, we spoke to the platform, we spoke to my rep, they understand that. Mm-hmm. So I'm able to structure the content in that way. Yeah. So that's not all that I do is also, you know, I do all, a bunch of other different stuff. But, right, right, right. But a lot of the content that I make is like on sensitive topics. Yeah, yeah. You know, and a lot of these sensitive topics that I make content on is because these are some of the, uh, these are some of the topics or a lot of these topics, these are some of the things that I've experienced in my life. Mm. Right. So I've experienced these things and I understand these things. And so, because I experienced them, how can I artistically express myself? Yeah, yeah. To show like, yo, these things do not bother me. And they shouldn't bother you. Yeah. Right? And I think I've convinced a lot of people like, yo, some random dude saying some dumb shit on the internet calling you a bunch of racial slurs. Bro, that shouldn't bother you. First of all, some dude from behind the screen. Right? Yeah. Second of all, it's like, dude's never gonna, what, how much times has some fucking white guy come up to you and said, like, that shit doesn't happen. Like, it happens it's, from time to time. It's but happened a couple of times, but, like... Rarely. Rarely. And to be honest, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not evolved enough. That one of those times, dude got punched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I don't blame you. But, but on the internet, though, like, the amount of shit that I see... Yeah. Especially, like, when I do content, like, I've done content with Chris Sky before. Mm-hmm. And then that's when you see all the graces start coming into the comments. Oh, you yeah, know yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. What, what I usually do, I don't really see too many of those. But mm-hmm. I do see, like, hater-ass comments. 
Hundred percent. Especially if you get posted on Reddit. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. Torontology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get posted on Torontology a lot. Yo. <laughs> That's another thing. We love hip hop.